Horrifying sight in Wauwatosa as a witness says she saw a woman get struck by a car early this morning. Our Brett Lemoyne is live near North and Mayfair with what happened after the driver took off and left that victim to die. Brett. Yeah, Ted, it's really a scary situation here. The witness tells me she saw the driver back up over the victim. It happened right over here this morning. Cell phone video showing emergency crews trying everything they could to save her life. But sadly, her injuries were severe. The epidemic of reckless driving. Please, Lord Jesus, come. Please, God. Please. <laughs> Unfolding early Thursday morning outside Brooklyn Holmes's apartment window in Wauwatosa. He drove up on the construction and reversed back over her body. Her cell phone video showing Holmes's frantic efforts to move construction barrels to divert traffic away from the body left in the middle of the street. Oh my God, I pray to God on no cars come right here. Holmes says it looked like the driver a great SUV continues eastbound north. was dropping off a group of girls when the victim was struck. Um, then the younger girls got back in the in the car and um, they were screaming like she's not moving and they left her there. Wauwatosa police say a 47 year old woman was struck near North and Mayfair just before 2 a.m. The fatal hit and run happening at the same time as an attempted car theft at the Holiday Inn just steps away. Late Thursday, Wauwatosa police confirmed the victim was trying to intervene in that attempted theft when she was hit. The way it happened, it just was kind of like no remorse. Julie Wellinger is also outraged and with a group trying to stop these crimes through stricter penalties. Two men decided to race down Hampton Avenue. Uh, on impact, they hit my son's car at 102 miles an hour. My son and his best friend were killed instantly. She's joining community activist Tracy Dent Thursday night to discuss their recent meeting with the Milwaukee County District Attorney. Fox 6 was there last month when Dent delivered more than 1,100 signatures from county residents demanding changes. We, we don't want to keep giving slap on the wrist because it just is going to happen again tomorrow. And while Watosa police continue to investigate, dense remarks, meanwhile, will be held tonight outside Milwaukee City Hall beginning at 6 p.m. Fox 6. We'll be there reporting live in Wauwatosa, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. Interesting to see if any of these young girls who are in that van will come forward, tell their parents something, and they tell authorities. We'll follow up on this, Brett. Thanks.